To address concerns over the alleged looting of public funds and assets in River State, the River State Economic Recovery Initiative has called on Governor Siminelaye Fubara to investigate the affairs of the state during the 88th tenure of his predecessor, Nyesom Wike. The group said this during a press conference held in Lagos as they discussed the political development in River State. They stated that investigation is necessary to ensure that any illegal activities such as the misappropriation of state resources are thoroughly examined and any looted funds or assets are recovered. The group also urged Governor Fubara to probe the issue of contracts that were awarded without proper procedure as well as payments made for work that was never executed. We are desirous of ensuring that the people of River State or any other state in Nigeria get better deals where governance is concerned. For us, there is this outside possibility that the political impasse is part of a well-orchestrated script to allow the failings of the immediate past government to be swept under the carpet. By this, we mean that the seeming hostilities between both camps could be a perfect smoke screen that allows for the concealment of the malference that took place under Mr. Wicked's watch. We want to categorically declare that the only time there will be issues is if Governor Fubara fails to do the needful for the people of River State by setting up a panel of inquiry to investigate the eight years that Nyeson Wike mishandled and misappropriated the resources of the state, probing Wike's tenure is not politics but bringing accountability to bear to ensure that the right precedent is set for the development of the state. And we're also reiterating that, aside investigation, there should be, there should be criminal prosecution of those found one thing in the looting of uh, rivers resources. It is not just in rivers. It's also, we are calling on, act of, on, 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 on those concerned to do such in all, any part of the country. We have to go to the tip of it and find out what exactly happened. Because it has come up now to say 225 billion. billion. Mm -hmm. It's not a small money. And the present governor, where will you get such money from? And the contractors will be on his neck. So the best way we can do it is to look into the details of it and so that the governor can work very well and move on.